It is in our water bottles, soda cans, and nearly everything containing food. Bisphenol A, more commonly known as BPAs, and now studies are linking the chemical to obesity in girls. CBS 19's Jennifer Heathcock explains how you can keep your daughter healthy. Well, Justin and Jillian, who doesn't carry around a bottle of water these days? I know I'm not caught without one, but a new study from researchers in Shanghai shows what's lining this could actually cause hormone disruptions in school-aged girls leading to obesity. And here's some basil. Look at that huge basil leaf. Leslie Harrison tries to keep her family, including nine-year-old Tabitha, healthy. But we do lots and lots of cooking, and even their school lunches, we make and take our own lunches because that way we know what's in the food. She eliminates added sugars, high fructose corn syrup, hormones and chemicals where she can. Here are like the glass containers that I use. That includes plastics that most people use every day. And so these are BPA free. I look for BPA free water bottles. We use some BPA free aluminum bottles, um, also the collapsible bottles. That's because she knows bisphenol A or the chemical compound known as BPA has been linked to multiple health problems. She wasn't surprised to hear it's now linked to a growing epidemic, obesity in girls aged 9 to 12. I find it really disturbing though. From what we know, BPA may affect the endocrine system or the hormone system of the body to counteract some things in our body that help our metabolism go faster, um, but we're really not sure. Dr. Brian Lowry says he treats children with high blood pressure and cholesterol often at Trinity Clinic, stemming from obesity. The lining of it and if you put it in the heat or cold or we're not sure how that BPA gets out, but there's very, very minimal BPA in it, but there's BPA everywhere. He was surprised to hear what the study showed about the effects on school-aged girls, but says the hormonal changes as they go through puberty may have something to do with it. BPAs can be found virtually everywhere. Water bottles, food cans, and drink cans, even receipts. Researchers in Shanghai don't know why this is just impacting girls, but they say the worldwide exposure to the chemical compound could be the cause in the obesity epidemic. Numbers have doubled since 1980. Now 1.4 billion adults and 40 million children are estimated to be overweight. We have to be careful about what we're putting in our bodies um, and try to do as natural as you can as far as food, cooking, fresh food, fresh vegetables, um, drink water from a glass. Ways to keep BPAs away from your kids. Cherry tomatoes right here. Staying green and eating clean. Those are things that we cannot uh, change through diet and eating other than taking those environmental factors out of the mix. BPAs can disrupt the endocrine or hormone system and has been linked to asthma, thyroid issues, kidney and heart disease, and even brain changes. The Food and Drug Administration says BPA is safe to, at very low levels that occur in some foods. And Justin and Jillian, the FDA says it's conducting further studies to determine if the chemical used in packaging and containers is safe. Something a lot of parents may not have known. Jennifer, thank you. The FDA banned BPAs from baby bottles and sippy cups in 2012. Many companies had started banning the compound by that time. The FDA rejected a petition to outright ban BPAs, though, in March of 2012.